All right, day 91. 91 consecutive days of walking at least one mile. Put the camera on and we'll get going. All right. Back in Manhattan Beach today. There should be some really interesting things here. It's here, I think it was last uh, week ago. Saw all kinds of beautiful houses and all kinds of stuff. Gorgeous views. I'm sure there's going to be some great stuff again today. We'll go see what we see. All right. Start the timer and we'll get going. All right, put in your guesses how far I'll go, how long it'll take. Oh, here we go, starting off right here with a beautiful view. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this view. Wow. Right off the top. Gorgeous views. I think that's uh, Palos Verdes out there. That's the Pacific Ocean. Look at that. Man, these houses up here have some great views. Look at that. Gorgeous. Whoo. Beautiful all the way through here. Man. That's beautiful. All right, we'll walk down here. Come back up. We're going to see some great stuff today. Yeah, look at this house right here. An old Hollywood type thing by the door. Nice. This reminds you of, I don't know why. I got a fountain. Man. Over here, they already got a golf cart. Whoa, let's go up there and see that. Let's see this stuff. Man. Look at that. Got a golf cart that puts around here. Man. Beautiful. They got a fountain going on. Gosh. All kinds of stuff. Right off the bat. Tell them what we're going to see today. Go see. Look at this house. <laughs> Look at that beautiful view up there. Wow. Gorgeous. Got a full on view. Oh, look at that big barge out there, Pacific Ocean. Look at these little flowers. That's beautiful. That purpley blue. They got a whole bunch of them. Man. Now, oh, look at this house. All these windows. Wow. Some gorgeous stuff already. Look at this house. A nice balcony. What is this thing? I'm going to SU, like a camper of some sort. <laughs> Look at that house. It's gorgeous. Beautiful balcony. Look at this thing. What is this? It's an Airstream. Yeah, I thought they might stop making those 50 years ago. <laughs> a hall looks like a big old camper. A hall like 20. Like a bus. That's something, an Airstream. I didn't know they made those anymore. I guess they do. Interstate, four-wheel drive. That's something. All kinds of stuff. Look at this house. Building another one right here. Man. Got a Bronco and a couple of chairs up there. Just sit out here and look at the ocean. Man, all kinds of stuff. Manhattan Beach never fails to impress. Just look at that. Is that a, is that a three, two and a half car garage? It's like a half a car or something. I'm thinking fit a car on that one side. They got this little house here from, I guess, from the 60s. A little ranch. I don't know if they have much of a view of the ocean. It's a nice house. I mean, a nice location. It's a little ranch. They might be. I don't know if they can see. Maybe they can see the ocean. Go 
down here, oh, it's an open house, oh boy. I don't know which way it is, it may be the other way. Let's see, what am I at, First Street? Yeah, first and a block off Ardenmore. Off the main street. All right. That's no small house over there either. Weird, I don't think they have a view though. That's a house that's black. It's all black. It's kind of weird being at the beach in a walk street though. They're only not even probably a mile from the ocean, maybe, maybe a mile. It's an open house somewhere down there. I don't know where it is. Down that street. I'm going up this street though. See what's going on up here. Some more views and stuff. Uh oh, this is residential area. No through traffic. Oh, it's gonna be some good stuff. Let's we'll see what's going on. Look at this little house. Look at two bedroom, one bath. Look, it's for sale. It's got a lockbox on it. So walk up through here. There's a Tesla and there's another Tesla. How many Teslas? What do we see? Over under 12 and a half and a Mustang up there. One muscle car. Going to see a lot more Teslas than muscle cars, I'm sure. Let's see. What are they going to do? Comes a Rivian. I know what a Rivian looks like now. Very distinct. Nice. All right. Let's see what's going on up here. Never, I think I said never fails to, whoa, impress. I meant never fails. Yeah, it always impresses. If you never say it, never fails to impress. <laughs> Just out of nowhere. Wow. It's a gorgeous house. Sandstone is a Spanish influence, I guess. Wow, sure they have some gorgeous views. Yeah, all these houses here has a gorgeous views of the ocean. Look at that. It's kind of Cape Codish. look like they come out there and sit too often they probably see it from in the house see the ocean from in the house oh, look at this house these corner houses are always super nice there's another tesla is that three there's another one four there's another one five <laughs> tesla 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 Look at this house. That house takes up the whole corner. I think this just ends down here though. Yep. There's another Tesla 6. I see 20 Teslas. Yeah, that's it for this little cul-de-sac here. We'll go up the other side. Oh, we're on John Street. John's kind of a famous street. There's a lot of beautiful houses on John. I think, uh, what's his name lives on John? Uh, quarterback for the, used to play for the Rams. Jared Goff, now he plays, I think, for Detroit. How you doing? Uh, another little golf cart. 
<laughs> he's got a couple dogs can't really see him that beautiful house he's out there no shirt on kind of cold uh, beautiful houses on so they have some great views they got like a little alley down there that one house it's got to be two houses I don't know maybe it's one house kind of looks like one house Whew. Oh, yeah, and these multi-million dollar houses back here. Goodness gracious. That is one house. It takes up two lots. It goes all the way back. Another Tesla 7. And a Porsche. Oh, that's a dog. Look at this house. Yeah, three stories. Wow. Gorgeous. Well, the views are anyway. Man. You see the ocean. And dog's still barking at me. walk up here and go down that next hill it's kind of interesting little side streets go back on John kinds of views there's a Bronco yeah is that, is, that an, is that an older Bronco or is just a, yeah look at the handles that's an old Bronco because they don't have door handles the door handle is that from the 70s you don't see door handles like that anymore wow interesting 80s maybe 80s another tesla huh? that's a nine man these are gorgeous houses I got a full on view of the ocean right there. That house does. Nothing blocking their view. Look at that. Straight to the ocean. Gorgeous. I'm going back down the hill. I have to go back up the hill. Oof. Look at this house. Look at the entryway on this house. Coming up here on the right. Well, that's a, is that a garage door? Ah, look at that garage door. Is that a garage door? No. Yeah, I guess so. Fades into the, can't hardly tell it's a garage door. Wow, 
that's kind of cool. I don't know if it's elect electric garage door or not. Eight six four fifth. Look at the entryway of this house. <laughs> it's pretty gorgeous. Wow. The windows on that house. The beautiful houses on this street. Straight on view of the ocean down there. I think it's about a, what, a half a mile, a mile? Goodness. Look at the size of this house. Like an alleyway. Very Spanish influenced. Like a Spanish restaurant. Got a fountain going back there. A running fountain. <laughs> that would be like six bedrooms. How big is that house? Except the whole corner. It's a couple dogs. I forgot to set the over under on dogs. That's the first two dogs I've well, the first two dogs I've seen. Goodness. Look at this house. Wow, three-car garage. These houses on the corner always take up the whole corner. Humongous, unbelievable. Guess we'll walk. There's another two more Teslas. What's that? Ten? Nine? I don't know. Wow, look at this house. Is that a beautiful house? The other side of the house, they have a great view of the ocean. I think I already counted this Tesla. All right, back on John. I guess we'll do a mile out and a mile back here. Come back to first. House looks so high. And they got a gorgeous view of the ocean. Kind of a landscaping. Like a fortress. So we'll walk up to the top of this hill. Got some beautiful houses up there too, I bet. old truck from the 70s down there. I'm not going down there though. Not that exciting. A little dog in the window. Oh, we had that other dog barking at us. I guess that's four dogs. If you count dogs in the house. A lot of hills through here. I have to look up that exact address of where Jared Goff lives. I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's on John. I can't remember the name, the exact address. There's a four car garage, one, three over here. Modern looking house with a lot of windows. It's a modern looking house too next to it with a lot of windows. Must be there. Did there. Is there a family room right up front there? Yeah, probably. So, I don't know. Another 
big house with a big patio and lots of windows to see the ocean. There's a lot of hills. Entryway here. On the other side, they have a beautiful view of the ocean. Huh. It's starting to get hot. Huh. All these hills. Whew. I think the jacket's got to come off soon. Wow, it's like an office building. Very, not generic, but uh, not pristine. What's the word? Can't think, it's very, I don't know, office building looking. Wow, I think because it doesn't have any flowers. Gosh, super modern from the front. This looks like an office building. Woo, wow. Like all the windows are almost closed. Now that one's open. Look at the doors. Wow. Maybe I've seen this house in a TV show or something before. Interesting. This house is for sale. Now compare that to this house. Got all kinds of flowers. This makes it look more inviting. Oh, sterile. That house looks sterile. That's a word I was trying to think of. Look at this house. All the flowers. This looks more inviting. It's still huge. But... Whew. Got hot going up that hill. A park or a school or it's kind of weird. A couple dogs. An open house. Look at this. Got a basketball court and somebody two to four. Let's go see what this house looks like. Where is it? 8.56, what am I at? I guess we'll go take a look. I think it's right here. Let's do that $12.5 million open house. Was that about three weeks ago? That was unbelievable. What, is it a Mustang? Man, is that a brand new Mustang? What is it? SUV, I guess. Electric. Yeah. Huh. Look at that, they got lions. Look at that. Wow. Oh boy, going down a hill again. Let's see if this house is this is open and take a look in there but see how much more time on this video it's about 10 minutes which house oh it's this one right, so take a quick look in it 
Got 10 minutes. Oh, it's a nice entryway. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi, I didn't mean to scare you. Welcome. Sorry to. Oh, okay, to leave your shoes on? Sure. Okay, cool. thank you. Oh, it just must not be two o'clock, huh? Oh, not, is it okay if I come in? Yeah, sure. Oh, okay. Just walking in the neighborhood, saw the open house. I didn't yeah. know, really know what time it was. Didn't really know what time it was. <laughs> oh, it's nice, nice little patio. Got a bedroom down here. Kids room, I guess. This is just like a sitting room or something. You've got a double staircase leading upstairs. Oh, is um, that like the family rooms upstairs? Yeah. I see. So you've got family, you got dining, kitchen, uh, an office space, and two living spaces. Oh, wow. Nice. Yeah. And then downstairs you have a laundry room and a three-car garage. Wow. So this is the bedroom level. Um, Jack and Jill bathroom for these two bedrooms. Uh -huh. An ensuite in the front primary, and then another ensuite. Um, oh, so the master's down here. Correct. So this oh. is the bedroom level. Oh, and then I got you. It's kind of reverse floor plan. Huh? Yep. You'll notice, I, I hope you'll notice, there's, there's a really nice view of downtown and the mountains up there. Oh, up here. Okay. Yep. Okay, great. Thank you. Nice visibility today. Uh, yeah, it, the clouds have kind of gone away. All right. All right. Oh, look at this. Nice. Very private. Four bedroom, three and a half bath, 5.7. Oh yeah, view's gorgeous, huh? Beautiful. So beautiful, yeah. Wow. A little study up here. Can you see it? Yes, yeah, beautiful, huh? The clouds have cleared away. You can see downtown. Oh, that's, that's nice. not a good one. Oh, that's not good, huh? It's not a good one. Oh. Not a kind of visibility. Yeah. Not horrible, though. Yeah, yeah, not horrible. Usually right after the rain, it's probably tomorrow, it'll be really nice and clear. Yeah. Still nice, though. Yeah. And it's kind of kind of secluded back here. You got a lot of privacy, which is nice. Yep. Are they just moving out of the area, or? No, so they actually already moved. Oh, they already uh, moved. They moved uh, about almost a year ago. Oh. Oh wow. So yeah. they're just now putting it up on the market, huh? Well, yep. Oh my so gosh. It's partially staged, um, but it is turnkey and. Move right in, just bring a toothbrush and Yeah, <laughs> you're good to go, right? You need to, so you can sun town outside. <laughs> yeah, it's private. It's nice. I mean, there's houses around, but it's still very private, you know, yeah. with all the trees and everything. Do you live in the area? Uh-huh. I live in Redondo, though. Very cool. Yeah, but I walk around a lot just to see the views and stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. beautiful. You make some cool videos with your GoPro? You yeah, know? yeah, I do a lot of walking and... Uh, you know, there was that house I looked at um, about three weeks ago. I think it's still an open house today. At, um, right off, right across from Skechers, it was twelve and a half million. Have you seen that house? Oh, it's gorgeous. Yeah. Of the a whole Pacific Ocean and everything. The views are. There's another construction. There's a brand new construction that just came available too. So right across from it, if you end up walking back over there, so there you've got one. Yeah. Right next to the Skechers building. Uh huh. In the kind of the cul-de-sac area. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I just see all kinds of stuff, so I put it up on the video. Sometimes people, you know, they, if they see it, they might give you a call. You never know, you know, so. Right. I just do a lot of walking through the neighborhood, see interesting things and stuff like that, so. What's the most interesting thing you've seen so far? 
Uh, oh, today? Just the views, you know, up on Poinsettia, you know, right up on the hills and long, where you can see, like, you know, you see the Pacific, and then you can also see downtown. Some of these houses have both views. Mm -hmm. It's just unbelievable. I mean, I live, in, I live in Redondo, but this is, you know, these are, we're talking about the top 1% of the population that live here, you know, just multi-million dollar. Oh, and that really, uh, I don't know, what, what would you call it, uh, that gray house, it's on, on John, I think it's, what is it, 805, John? super modern, has yeah. no landscaping, it's got the huge doors and it's yeah. all gray, yeah. You got that sculpture out front. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think I've seen that in a TV show or something before, I don't know, maybe. Yeah, I know they all hmm. It's very unique, you know, but it it's kind of, kind of a sterile. You know. They have a lot of art. Oh, inside? Yeah. Oh, you've, you've toured it? The previous owner of me used to have a brokerage called Shorewood. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Shorewood Realty. Yeah. And, he uh, just passed away last month. So. Oh, the owner? Yeah. Oh, was it, so it was on the market? Or? No, it was not on the market. Oh. Uh, the wife was still living uh, in it, and then oh. her son just lives there, too. What, what kind of business? Was he in the entertainment business? No, real estate. Oh, he was, oh, he was Shorewood. Oh. He, was, he started Shorewood. Oh, he started Shorewood. Yeah. Wow. Well, he probably knew the South Bay in and out, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. He did. Yeah, I'm sure they have. It's gorgeous inside. Yeah. Yeah. He's really, really, he's a fine art collector. Oh. Really into, you know, beautiful museums. Yeah. Like, you know, that. yeah I bet. Have you seen that house on the, on the Strand? Um, I, I haven't been in it, I've been by it before. It has three lots and it's a hundred yeah, hundred and fifty million dollars. Yeah, so it just got rented for hundred twenty five thousand a month for a year wow. by somebody else who lives on the strand. Yeah. I'm surprised they rented it that cheaply to be honest. With you. Right. <laughs> they have the pool on the second floor. Yeah. That's unbelievable. So they, they rented it for a year for a hundred and twenty five thousand. Surprising, actually. That house is I guess they, they said they don't allow triple lots anymore, huh? Nope. Yeah. They put a hold on, or they they don't. Well, you can't delete any more units now, right? Mm -hmm. But the mansionizing was just a bit too nice, much. So, yeah. yeah, big mansions. Yeah. And doesn't um, it's a guy that plays for the uh, Jared Goff live on John here somewhere? Mm -hmm. Yeah. On um, Fifth and John. Fifth and John. He bought yeah. that corner lot for ten five, and the, then the inner lot. The right next to it. Market. And you know all the stuff, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you do. Everything I bring it up, you know. Yeah, so he's in Detroit, though, right? I guess he plays for Detroit, but I guess he still lives here, huh? Yeah, and he's about, apparently the story is he's going to tear that beautiful home down and the lot next to it. And What's he going to, build another one? Yeah, built a, Onto his? A, a single family with, I guess, a pool house or ADU or a guest house. Wow. Yeah, he bought that corner lot for ten five, and wow. it was stunning. And he's Gonna tear the story it down. is he's going to tear that. Wow. And that's what, uh, what did you say, 500 block? Fifth and John, yes. Fifth and John. Yeah, I guess I just walked by. What are we, I'm at 8th eighth and John? We're on 9th. Oh, 9th and so John, yeah. So you walk up and then walk, 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 down. walk back down. We'll yeah. on the northwest uh, Northwest, interesting. Yeah, good, good. Well, I appreciate you letting me look around. You yeah, know, it's absolutely. gorgeous. You're super knowledgeable about this stuff. <laughs> Ever want to move, but... Right now, it's, I don't know how, well, I guess these people, money, interest rates aren't that big a deal, but the interest rates no, are. It's crazy because yeah. we're all, the interest rate that we have now is still. Historically low. low. Yeah, know? historically low, but yeah. Now we all, you know, experience a 2 to 3% interest rates where you're like, oh my God, but that's not normal. Right. Was it like in the 80s, they were like 18%, 19%? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 But we're we we're thinking you know two percent, three percent now. Mm -hmm. So nobody wants to move. But strangely, our prices because we have no inventory are still going up, and especially right now. I mean, the South Bay has such great schools. Yeah. Right? So um, it's a great place for families to gravitate, and and the community is so strong and protected. That yes. Yeah. Great neighborhoods. Safe. I mean, super safe. They were telling me up at was it was it what's the name of the, the cul-de-sac Mar uh, Mar Margar Margaret. Know where the twelve and a half million dollar house is by Skechers across the street? Oh, on Marlita. Yeah, Marlita. They were. He was telling me that they had like twenty four hour surveillance. That the cops are constantly going by that little sure, cul-de-sac. Yeah, I, I believe it. Because yeah. Of the, um, 